The Sims 4 My Wedding Stories game pack. Let's have a talk about it, you guys. So first of all, I'll say thank you to EA uh, for sending me an early access copy of this game pack to review and show you guys. So when we get these early access copies, they are not final software. So in other words, basically, if you go and choose to buy this pack on release date, you're going to have a finalized build, not the same one as me that I'm showing you. Usually I would expect them to be a little bit buggy, but unfortunately for this game pack, it is really, really buggy and really broken to the point of the weddings basically being unplayable. And it really breaks my heart to tell you guys that because I can't recommend the game to you. I think I'm actually gonna hold off on playing the weddings and doing an LP until the patches come out upon release uh, and when I can use a finalized copy. I do know that The Sims are working very hard to get this fully patched up for release and the release date has been pushed back, which I think is a really good thing. Um, but I don't think that we should have been given a copy of this to review at this point in its development because it just sucks to show it off and not be able to recommend it to you guys. This is gonna be like an old school deli review because we're gonna be focusing on creator sim and build and buy mode and the world. So let's play, I will wait until the game has been patched and then we'll enjoy that when it's all working. And also, if you guys do wanna see what the weddings are like when they're fully glitched out, let me know in the comments down below because I could make just like a, a silly video if you guys want me to tomorrow. Um, but also just, just know we're gonna have a proper LP of this when it's fixed. All right, so I've just randomized the sim here. There's actually, I don't believe there's any new aspirations or traits unless I've completely missed them. Um, so this is the first hair we've got. Some of you guys will recognize this from the trailer. Beautiful texture, beautiful headpiece, um, or hairpiece, I should say. Now, the weddings may be broken at this point in the game, but the creator sim is looking really good and really, really strong. Um, so I'm really glad about that. And here we have a nice little updo. One thing in the creator sim I've noticed, and also build and buy, is that they're definitely trying to represent different cultures so different players can create, you know, their wedding celebrations in game that they um, relate to. So we will see a few headpieces and items with Indian themes or Chinese or Japanese um, and other ethnicities. So we love that diversity. And then this hair is with the veil. So this first one is different hair colors with different colored veils, um, which you can see here. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Like the white on white is pretty awesome. And then, ooh, love these. These are great swatches. And then there's also a secondary version of this. And this one's just the white veil on every hair color. So just so you guys know, that's why it looks like there's a duplicate. And then we have this gorgeous hair without any accessory on it. Um, so you can have it with the veil or without. Maybe your bride's gonna change into something a little bit different for the reception. So you might wanna take off the veil. But yeah, I think this head is really, really nice. And one of those hairs that I know I will just use all the time. So that is very nice. Um, in terms of hats, we have this beautiful headwear or veil, which I think is very, very, very pretty and gorgeous swatches as well. I think this has been made really, really nicely. Um, and I just love all of these vibrant colors. As I click on the black color that is not vibrant at all. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love the pink. That I love. Oh, I love, I'm really into pink at the moment. I feel like I go through phases of different <laughs> pinky colors. Now I will state the obvious. I am disappointed that there's no other veils here and it appears we only have this one, um, which sucks. And I think one of the full body outfits, there is another veil, but you know, I thought we'd see more of those, um, especially cause we can see that they were able to do them. Even if it only went on, actually I know why they haven't done them. It's cause I think it's because the veil wouldn't fit on all the hair types, so it'd look messy having it as a hat that doesn't work with on with all the hairs. So they would have had to, but then again, they could have made a hair like, well, I guess that's why they created this one. 
with the, ha the veil or the fascinator on it to avoid that issue. So I guess they could have, they just would have had to make more hairs. Anyway, I'm going on a total tangent right now. Let's move on. So we do have some gorgeous jewelry. I'm just gonna pop her hair into the shorter style. Oh, she looks so cute in that. So you have these beautiful earrings, got some flowers on them. Very nice, very nice. Then we've got this, which I assume is an Indian traditional uh, wedding jewelry piece, which is simply stunning. I mean, I wish I could take part in these traditions because it looks so cool, but obviously that would be offensive. So I can't do that, but it's just so pretty. I just love it. Look at those colors and look at the shine. I mean, they've done a really nice job of that. Um, and then we have some ear cuffs. Um, these actually creep me out a little bit because it, it like tucks through the hole of the ear and I'm like, oh my God, is her ear going to rip off? But they are really beautiful and it's on both sides. Uh, then we do have a necklace. So let me just, let me change into one of these dresses. Ooh, those do look really nice with a dress. So this necklace is nice. It's got a bit of a plum bob theme, which we love. Love this color swatch especially. Actually, I think all the color swatches are really, really nice. They're a nice balance between like your vibrance, your rainbow, and then some really sophisticated colors. And then uh, I forget what these are called. I'm sorry to reduce your bust, your lovely bust, but um, just for the purpose of looking at these. Very pretty. Um, it's not a corsage, corsage. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, these are really, really cute, different flowers, so you can wear those. I'm gonna call it a flower chest, a chest or flower arrangement. Okay, I'm gonna get her Uswados happening again. You know what song I have stuck in my head? Um, Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. I love that song so much ever since I heard the Bridgerton orchestral version of it. Oh, these are pretty. I actually haven't seen these eyeshadows. I completely missed them. They are beautiful. Um, subtle, yet not subtle at the same time. So they're very pretty. And of course we have these newish adjustments we can use. Ah, and then we have a nice eyeliner. Oh, very pretty. A bit more of a kind of a natural soft look. I do like that. And then lip wise, no new lippies, that's okay. And I think we got this in a base game update recently. So this bindi is for all players um, in the recent update, which I didn't make a video on, my apologies, but there have been a few updates, which I'll chat to you about as well. One of those updates actually were in the relationship menu. We can now have a fiance, which is very exciting. So yeah, this um, household relationships panel, since the base game free update, so you don't need the pack for this, you can now set a fiance or fiance here. Um, they don't just have to be married, which is nice. Uh, I don't believe there's any new skin details, teeth, or I would be surprised if there's any tattoos. Oh, wait. No, of course, There's, there would be a henna tattoo because that is an important tradition. So there you go. Beautiful. I was thinking more like, I don't know, this kind of tattoo. Oh, and then we've also got the other side as well. Gorgeous. So that's very nice. Okay, there are some new styled looks, I think, for formal wear. So we can get a little bit of a sneaky peek at how you can style the outfits. Love that. That's really gorgeous. <gasps> Beautiful. The uh, the dresses in this pack are really, really nice. And here's another one. Very gorgeous as well. And I do like that they've actually changed the makeup on some of these outfits too. Ooh, the black is very chic to match them. And then this Indian outfit or Indian inspired outfit is just so stunning. Oh, the colors and patterns look really, really fantastic. I love the sheer fabric too. All right, so let's get to the good stuff, you guys. Let's get to these full body dresses. Oh my Lord, look at these. Oops, jumped ahead a little bit. So we've got this one, very nice. I just realized I am spending a long time in Creator Sim, so maybe I should release multiple different videos. This is, I think, meant to be the mother of the bride outfit or the mother in law or the mother of the groom. Um, it's just classic, I love it. 
then we have this you guys look at this look at oh my gosh that is so pretty <sighs> that's so nice these swatches are stunning too love the patterns i think they've done a really really nice job of this and i think oh. this you know like lengthy things like this can be difficult to work in terms of the graphics done a really great job of it colors are really nice some muted ones which is good to see as well um then we have the pants suit power suit love it i was definitely dressing many of my female sims in the male suits which didn't fit as well um so it's really nice to have one that fits the female body shape really really nice also loving this dress too this is more of a traditional look see i wish we had like uh, more hairs with um, veils to go with these kinds of outfits. I mean, this oh, this is so beautiful. I want to go get, oh my gosh, that is so nice. I want to go like wedding dress shopping. No point really going now, is that? You guys better get used to all of these hints that I'm throwing out with this pack. It's the perfect excuse. So I actually think this is my favorite dress just because it's very um, simple, classic. It's going to suit like every sim and body shape. It's just really beautiful and I do appreciate all the different swatches as well. Um, very nice. That's the back. And this is fun. I like this. A little bit different. Again, great swatches. This could be the bridal outfit or this could be a guest outfit. Um, this is versatile. Got a bit of rainbow fun there. It's very, very chic. Then we have this one. Love that bow at the side. Um, this one feels a little bit more like casual, like maybe beach wedding vibe. Because it's not like, I don't know, it doesn't look as silk-like. Or maybe a guest outfit. This is stunning as well. Very flattering. So we saw this just before. I won't spend too much time on this one. Love. Love the open back too. Then this one's kind of like a big moment. I mean, can you say classy or? That's so beautiful. That is, oh my gosh. I love all of these dresses. Oh, look at this. So this could be a bridal outfit as well. Or this could be like, you could have your little um, bridal party or, you know, what, what do they call it? They're calling it something like guest of honor outfit. You want to coordinate everyone. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, love. I love all this drapery. Whoever did this did an awesome job of it. So I'm not sure if this is referred to as a sari or something, a different term, but... I love it, I love it all. I love the colors, it looks so good. Then there's this dress, there are so many dresses, you guys. This is like an asymmetrical moment, a little bit of a color. It's a little bit uh, contemporary. That's a gorgeous color. Then there's this one. This is what I'm gonna refer to as the princess dress. This is just very pretty. It's like the bell wedding dress and I'm here for it. Look at that back, that plunging back. These outfits are so good. This one's awesome too. Like, I feel like I'm going to use this dress all the time because it's very versatile. Yes, it could be wedding dress or yes, it could be your wedding party guest, but you can use this for everyday wear for like a real classy sim. This one's really pretty too. Look at, is it empire line dress? Gorgeous back on that too. The back's like a massive wins. Oh, the brown's gorgeous. Then we have another power suit. So this has got a bustier underneath. Bustier moments. So this is a little bit sexy. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'll say it's a bit woohoo-y. Mm, I don't know, but loving this colorway. I mean, I think I've done a great job on these. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this one, you guys. This is so pretty. Off the shoulder lace number. Gosh, we should have like, we should have had champagne for this video. I've got to do a planning my wedding live stream or video. This color, oh, this color, this gray, this, oh, so good. This is so cute too. Look at this. Look at the back. The back's always good. It's always good, you guys. Yeah, maybe I'm getting a little carried away. No, I'm not. Look at this. Wait, I haven't, I haven't even seen this one. 
Wow, it's sparkly. Can you see that sparkle on the bottom? This is like, whoa, this is a princess outfit. Look at it. So this is your more dramatic wedding dress. Um, you know, for, for the bride who wants to make it a moment. Well, I mean, I guess it is the bride's moment anytime, but who really wants to make it their moment, this is it. Got the rainbow one, very gorgeous. Uh, then, God, this is good. This video is gonna go on for like an hour. We have this gorgeous crop top that goes with this matching skirt. So two piece number here that you can, oh, that's actually quite nice having those two different colors. Uh, then we have this suit jacket for the women or female body types. And this is really cute. I love this. I love the suit moment, suit jacket. We've got lots of fun like florals on here. This is a great jacket. This is great. Okay, in terms of accessories, um, we've got these bracelets, which I assume are for the Indian inspired brides. Very gorgeous. We do have a pair of gloves. Oh, looks like there's a little glitch with the nails. So the other day when there was a free game update, um, they did add French manicures. So they'll need a, they need a patch of fix for that. Is that the gloves or the nails? Oh, okay, it's the gloves. Wait, do all gloves do that? No. Okay, so they just need to fix that one up. Um, so yeah, we do have the gloves. Oh my gosh, look at that lace detail. So pretty. That's really fun. And then we have some rings. So if you wanna, you know, Pick your sim, an engagement ring or a wedding ring. You can, different colored stones. It's a little bit hard to see, but there looks like there's a pear-shaped diamond. There's quite a big rock here, actually. It's like a floral shape, more of a plain one. There's a rainbow one. Um, there's a very classic ring, Kate Middleton vibes with the sapphire blue color. Uh, oh, and then we do actually have some wedding nails, which is very nice. Um, I can't actually see what they are. Oh, fun. So they've got like maybe diamantes or pearls on them and some designs there. Now, in terms of shoes, we don't have any new high heels, but we do have like these sandals, um, which are quite nice, which can be quite dressy too. And then we also have these traditional shoes as well which obviously are very important and really, really nice. Okay, so I think we've, um, I think we've gone through the female outfits. Okay, let's go through the male outfits. Okay, so this guy's so cute. Oh my God, he looks like such a nice guy. Um, right, so we have this jacket and then it comes in some florals and some bright colors, which is nice. Very cool. And then we do have pants that are going to match this too. So if you go for a vibrant suit, um, you'll be able to find some matching pants. Although wait, what are these pants meant to go with? Oh, maybe they go with the vest. You've got a lovely vest here. So your groom, oh, I like that mint color. The groom can, you know, dress up a bit too. And then this one, which is a bit of a, a classic end of the night, open the shirt look or kind of like, Muso look at the Grammys. I don't know. I don't really watch award shows, but I feel like this reminds me of Harry Styles. <laughs> then we have this traditional jacket with the dragon on it. Very nice. And there's also a rainbow version. The pride there. There's a lot of pride rainbows. Um, oh, also for both females and male sims, there is the flower shop attire. Um, so I guess if you have a sim who you want to make or sell bouquets, they can have this. This suit is really dapper. Like this is really nice. And I actually love that the colors are really experimental as well. So, you know, you've got some tradition, you've got some colors. This one's very, um, again, very muso. I will say, I don't really like the texture of this. I don't know what texture it's meant to be. Maybe it's meant to be like a weird texture. I, just, I don't understand what texture it is, so I'm not sure about this one. But then again, it's pretty cool. Like it looks really good in the in the green. Maybe it's the lighter colors I'm not as there for. Um, ooh, that's nice. Very woohoo-y. This is a cake store outfit. So there is a cake store in the world, which we'll have a look at. So that's very nice, love that. This is so good. Like this is both 
really cool and also really dated. Like, I'm not really sure what it is. Like, is this cutting edge new design of fashion or is this like Uncle Billy still living in the 70s is rocking up in this. Another traditional outfit. Very nice. Very nice. Here's another one. Pretty beautiful. Some of these colors are really washing our sim out though. They definitely look good in these um, deep colors though. And there's this one too. So lots of options, lots of diversity. And then we've got a, um, this, is, this one I think's one that a lot of players will use. Um, cause this is just really in at the moment. Like I feel like suspenders and a little bow tie is a look a lot of people are going for, especially at the rustic weddings. I like the little black one too. Then this, get a close up of this. I mean, that's really nice texture work. And like speaking like I make CC, but I feel like it looks really good. <laughs> uh, and in different colors as well, loving the pink. That's fantastic. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so we have some different options too. Got the rainbow as well. And then also without the headpiece as well. That's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go back to Uncle Billy's look. <laughs> Of it. Um, so yeah, I already mentioned the parts. Uh, shoe wise, we do have some really nice dress shoes for guys, which I was not expecting this, but I'm really happy about it. Just some classic shoes. And then there's just like a plain ring for your males. Of course, you can just turn off the masculine option and you can have other ring options and nail options because we love nails done on males too. So obviously adult, young adult, and elder are going to have, and teenager are going to have the same clothes. Let's just check out if the kids have anything new. So they've got the same hairs that we saw before. Um, and then we've also got this one, which is very cute, really nice. Um, no accessories, I don't think, or hats or makeup. We do have a couple of dresses. Nice little dresses here for a little wedding guest or maybe a flower sim, very cute. And um, also this other one here, love that, love heart back. It's very cute because you can have flower sims who can walk down and like throw the rose petals, which is very sweet. Uh, and then there's also this little tux, absolutely adorable, really sweet. And really nice swatches. Uh, I don't think there's any shoes. I mean, I don't think they really need to have any new shoes for kids. It'd be a waste of an asset, I think. Don't yeah. come for me. <laughs> you know we have our little dollar. Okay, again, we have the same hair. So cute. Look at that. And so we have that hair. Do we have a full body outfit? We do, and I actually haven't seen this. Oh my gosh, I love that texture. So shiny. Of course, the backs of the outfits are looking really good. This is adorable. A little special guest here. Some really pretty colors too. Again, the swatches are so good. And then we got a little suspender suit as well, which of course is absolutely adorable. And I wonder if they can actually match. Um, okay, they don't match the adult wear, but do they match the kids wear? Oh, I thought we might have got a little matching trio of outfits, but they're a little bit different. They, you can, you know, you can match the colors together. Um, and I will also let you guys know, I think in the base game update, they added a nice little swimsuit for the toddlers. Um, Cause the new world, Tartosa has like a beach area. Um, so yeah, they made this really cute little like swimwear rashy set with the cutest patterns on them. I love this. This reminds me of Angel Fish book. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely put your toddlers in that swimsuit because it's adorbs. All right, so I think that's pretty much most of it. I mean, I always miss something, don't I? You guys will probably be like, oh my God, you missed like everything. <laughs> like my last review. Good grief, let's never mention that again. Guys, we might have to do like a separate build by video. I don't know. Okay, so we do have the new world of Tartosa, which reminds me of Captain Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. Anyone else? So this is the world. Uh, it is really beautiful. So it's Mediterranean inspired. Um, there's very romantic waterfalls over here. Terra Amorosa, a short trip up the coastline from Porta Luminoso is a loving land known as Terra Amorosa, 
To the locals, whether fishing off the boardwalk, swimming at the bottom of the secluded hideaway falls, or hiking up the hillside to visit the area's famous lover's tree, any sim is bound to fall madly in love with the various charming sights and historic landmarks this lover's paradise has to offer. Uh, so we do have some really nice lots too. A couple of them are residential. Then when we come down here, we've got some existing residential houses. Uh, there's a little bit of tea time between some of the townies. Wedding venues as well, because we do now have wedding venues in the game. Uh, that was in the base game update. Um, and then there's also rentals here too. So you can vacation here for your wedding or honeymoon. So this side of town is called Porto Luminoso. Historians say Porto Luminoso's name originated when pirates arrived at shore, attracted by the glowing tides, the promise of trade and the invention of the fruit tart. So you can get fruit tarts here, I guess. Over time, the village flourished and while still famous for its fruit tarts, Porto Luminoso's real claim to fame is its self-proclaimed title as the wedding industry's premier destination for romance and matrimonial services. Okay, well, let's just jump to uh, this lot over here and have a little scoot scoot around. So this is one of the lots you can live on. Um, it looks pretty nice. Like it's on the water, it's risen up a bit. Nice bridge here. Oh my gosh, this is fancy. Look at their little feet. Look at their little feet paddling along. That's so cute. Oh, I love little feet. That sounds so weird. That sounds way more creepy than it was meant to. And then there's this very nice boardwalk over here. And then up here, this is the Lover's Tree, which if you guys have ever played Zelda games, this reminds me of the great Deku scrub. Um, but I think it's meant to be like two figures like hugging each other, which is nice. Someone said it looked like something rude, but I don't see it. Um, then this is really romantic. Like I feel like this is the perfect proposal spot and the, the waterfall sounds are really like really zen. Then over here, I think this is, okay, so this is a pre-built residential lot. They did get um, some folks from the Sims communities to build these, and I think they've done a really beautiful job. Doesn't it look cute? You can kind of see a few of the new items there. Oh, it looks like this might be in, uh, this might be in the build sheets mode. Um, so yeah, this is quite stunning, isn't it? Very, very pretty. No, we're not. And we're not going to Batu right now. There's like little sun lounges here. They're actually a new build or buy feature. Then over here, this is very literal in that this is saying we are a wedding destination. Tie the knot right here, folks. Lovely little walkway. I mean, you know, it's quite nice just checking it all out with you guys. This is a venue right here. Um, so, you know, it looks like you can have a little outdoor wedding if you please. I think there's three different altars on this lot. Oh, car. No news there, folks. I don't think there'll ever be news there, unfortunately. No, I wonder if you can do anything at this tree or do you just like look at it? I don't know. I thought maybe you might be able to. Like the snail in cottage living. It doesn't look like it. All right, let's go to the other side of town and have a little squiz. Okay, so this is the beach area. I really like this little cove beach. I think it's different to what we already have in The Sims, but you know, also if you don't have island living, it's nice to be able to have this beach in your game if you choose to get this pack. Nice kids area. We've got a cool maze here. Looks like a little bow tie. This is another pretty epic wedding venue over here. Look, this is a nice little proposal spot. That would be quite nice. Um, and the water really is glowing. It is very, very blue. Oh, look at this. Oh, I can't read anything. Oh, I thought we might be able to click on a few things. Is someone buried here? I don't think you can interact with much of the world. Um, but yeah, this definitely seems very European to me. Like this reminds me of Italy, at least kind of my experience. Um, and you know, I think it's really lovely. There's a bicycle there. So we do have a couple of different food stores. I believe one is Indian. Oh, Palak Paneer. Yes, Samosa. <gasps> Dal. Mm, buddy chicken. Okay, so we've got an Indian store there. 
Um, this is actually the town hall, so you can use the bathroom here, which is very handy, or you can get married right away. Look at these little um, rooftops, so cute. Now if we go back to this beach side, um, there's some good stores here that you might want to go to. So this is the wedding cake store. At the moment, it doesn't work to buy a full cake, but you can taste the cakes. I believe when it's patched, you'll be able to buy your whole wedding cake from here, as well as some fruit scones. The world famous Tartosian fruit tart. We're gonna have to buy one of those. Uh, and then what's over here? What's this? Ah, sweet buns, dumplings. Ooh, yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, this is all really nice looking. You get a, a tart there. And these are actually some of the cakes you can get, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, I wanna see this fruit tart. Oh, no, I really want fruit tart. Oh, yum. That looks real tasty. We'll, we'll let her enjoy that whilst we roam around. Oh, and over here, this is where you can actually buy your wedding bouquet. Or you can buy flowers just in general, um, which we'll check out as well. And I think that's basically all of the stores. Oh, no, of course, there's the wedding dress shop. So um, you can plan your wedding outfit, aka your formal outfit, or you can change your outfit. I think this might confuse some people playing this for the first time. They might wonder, is a formal my wedding outfit? So yeah, buy flowers, uh, all of the flowers you are used to seeing in the game, depending, I guess, depending on what packs you have, but that's quite handy to be able to buy them. I think there's actually a glitch with orchids at the moment someone mentioned. Not sure if anyone else has had that. Um, and then there's a wedding bouquet option here. So the really cute thing with the bouquets is, yes, you can buy them and then walk down the aisle with them. But you can also, actually, I'm not sure if I can show you in this world because there's not really anywhere to place them. But you can actually like place them on a counter in the vase, which is really nice. Also, these two sims are from the trailer, Camille and Dominique. Oh my gosh, let's purchase this cow plant painting. That's so sad, I love it. Um, so apparently these guys you can introduce yourself to and then, uh, oh yeah, eat your fruitcake. Oh, and she's a fruity, perfect. You can introduce herself to them. And then I think you can actually learn a bit of lore from around the town. I'm not sure if it's just grapevine gossip or... Yeah, if there's meant to be another option, but I think they just tell you stuff and depending on how well you know them, they're going to tell you a bit more. Uh, did you know that the fruit we use in our world famous tarts is a local fruit? Yeah, you could even go out and pick your own. What? Really? Okay, that's cool. Now we're going to have to look for fruit trees. Also, be sure to search the beach because apparently messages and bottles are the new collectibles, although I haven't seen any yet. So maybe they take a little bit to spawn. Uh, they also suggested we go see the patisserie, a little bit about their history. This is a beautiful villa house you can stay at. Really nice build. Oh, look at this. It's like a little vineyard. So pretty. Um, actually, winemaking would have been cool in this in this pack. Oh, is this our little uh, fruit tree? Ah, wild grapevine. Well, there you go. Wait, no, did we already have grapes? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember. I wanna make wine, or juice, we should say. Uh, and then over here, this is such a cute lot, right? Like you can go down here, and this is like a little, a little beach house. And I've gotta say, whoever built this, I just love their use of the, the lime color. So nice, Some boats out there. So it's very, very pretty. Um, and we've got this, which, is this a house? I think this is, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a house. This is like full on, love this garden, so pretty. Oh my gosh, James just messaged me and he's like, you left the stove on for the whole time I've been filming, which is like almost an hour. I always leave the stove on. I don't know what what is wrong with me, but I just keep doing it. I've got to stop. Oh, look at this. Why? Nice, I can't do anything with it, but it does look nice. So we already have grapes in the game. So I want to know what this new fruit is. Maybe it's, I was going to say tomatoes and tartosas, like mixed together. Tartomas? Tomatoes? Tomatoes? Okay, I'm just going to stop there. All right, well, let's have a look at build and buy mode. I mean, longest video I've ever posted. Let me know if you like this longer format of a video. Okay, let's go into build and buy mode. So we already have a few new pre-built rooms. 
which I often forget to go through, but we have uh, like an indoor wedding altar type thing. Uh, then we have a nice regal reception right here, which is very nice. We've got an enchanting manda. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that is obviously very magical. Ready to mingle. I love this outdoor bar area. Uh, and then we have some rosy nuptials, which is very, uh, very nice. Very rosy, this one. So we've got those. So in terms of build and buy mode, uh, it, it's really a Mediterranean theme. Like I love this sun faded paint. It is really quite beautiful. And I'm sure a lot of you guys who are from, you know, the Mediterranean areas, um, you really, really love using these colors. Like this rich orangey tone just reminds me so much of Rome. I just love all of these pastel colors as well. Um, I don't know why this is highlighted because I don't think there's anything. Oh, there is something new here. I love sand. Okay, well, that's why it says there's something new. So yay, we have new sand. <laughs> oh, it's got lots of shells in it. Nice. Uh, in terms of fountains, you guys might have seen in the trailer and being curious about this, this sphere. So this is an orb lamp fountain uh, in different swatches. Why am I showing you guys like the most boring things first? <laughs> I don't know. This fence is pretty lovely. Love, love, love it. I feel like I'm gonna use this so much. I was actually thrilled we got this fence. And I'm also glad to see that there's some non-floral versions of it as well. Curious to see what happens in snowy seasons. I suppose this greenery will just have like a white cap of snow. But those are really cool. Got a very nice gate. A little bit rustic too on some of the swatches. Very cute. Uh, we also have this balcony. It's very romantic. Great swatches. I have a couple of doors. So I think the aim for these were to both be able to be used on a residential home, but also be able to work on a church or a cathedral uh, for traditional weddings or, or wedding venue, which I think they've done a pretty good job because um, it can be difficult to keep things versatile when there's a really strong theme, like a church theme, for example. Um, so that's nice. We don't actually have any archways like that in the game. And the windows are really sweet. So we have a couple of windows here, different colors, some with the iron bars, some without. Um, these are just really gorgeous. And then we also have some stained glass windows. So I mentioned in the trailer, I was a bit nervous about these because I didn't like the stained glass colors. But now that I can see the different swatches, I'm um, very happy about these other options. Um, these more like neutral colors. I mean, stained glass windows, obviously they're meant to be really vibrant and some are very vibrant. So I think it's just like a personal taste thing that I'm probably used to seeing stained glass windows that aren't as saturated in color probably, but I'm sure a lot of players will really love them. And I really want to build like a house with uh, like a church house that's been renovated into a home because I've seen some of those around and they're pretty cool. Um, so there you go. Uh, then we also have some roof decor. I mean, a wedding bell obviously is very fitting for this pack. This is a beacon. A lot of builders are going to enjoy using these and also a Mediterranean style chimney, which I'm loving. Wonder, do we have any new roofing? We don't. Is there a base game update? So I guess you'd just use the magic tile roof that we already have. Would it be nice to have a new swatch for this to actually match this chimney? Unless, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, don't think there's any foundations or stairs. All right, moving on to the actual furnishing. Okay, I just want to show you guys my most favorite item in this pack, and it's this chair. I love Cartel, um, who makes a lot of furniture that looks like this. Like, this is basically the Cartel ghost chair, and I just think this is so much fun. I love it so much. I'm going to use it all the time. Thank you so much, Sims. <laughs> then we have these more traditional wedding chairs with and without flowers on them, so you can alternate them. They can suit different color schemes and styles. I also love this round one as well. Very, very pretty. And this one, which is very tradish. I'm sure some of you guys have had these chairs at your wedding. You can probably recreate your wedding, actually. And then this weaved with love chair. Very, very pretty. Those are really good assets. And then we've got the church bench. Love this. 
uh, Harmonious Love Seat. Beautiful. Some really vibrant colors there and also neutrals. Then we've got our Riviera Vacay Chair. Love the pastels so much. This is actually like a really nice sun lounge. I'm really going for the pinks right now. Then we have a banquet table. So this is perfect for, you know, your wedding day. It's a little bit more dressed up. Then there's also the fun ramp. Are you okay? This house is chaos. You know, I'm leaving the stove on. James just like almost ruined a painting. <laughs> Not Bobo, it's fine. No, everyone's okay. Where were we? Okay, so we have the round banquet table. Lots of fun. Uh, oops, there it is. This is quite a versatile piece. Very beautiful. I actually absolutely love this. This is just what I need for my rustic dream wedding. <laughs> and then we've also got the tears, not tears. I, I picked this out in the trailer, very exciting. Then we have the D floors. We got a little one, we got a medium one, and we got a big one. So if you guys don't have get together, you can get the D floors in this pack, which is handy. And I think if your guests are at like level five dance skill, they can do a special wedding dance. So maybe they can rehearse and get their skill up to do that at your sim's wedding. This is a gorgeous piano that kind of looks like it's got a lacy cutout. Got some toasting celebration buckets. So this is actually an activity. Um, so your sims can actually make toast with this bucket, celebration bucket. Uh, and then we have the wooden banquet table. So we have banquet tables uh, in the stuff pack, luxury party stuff pack. So it's nice to see this in another pack as well. Or was it in other packs? I don't know. And then we also have this one, which is a little bit more like glam. Um, we've got a bar here, which can have different looks to it. I quite like that this is very plain. And then you guys, this is what I'm really super excited about, the tea sets. So you can have a traditional tea ceremony, which I assume is a key part for some cultures at wedding celebrations. So we've got this tea set, very beautiful. Um, I can't put them both on this table at once. And then this is more of a like classic English inspired tea set. Uh, some really gorgeous swatches there. So your Sims can actually, you know, pour the tea, then serve the tea to another Sim or can get a cup themselves. Um, so yeah, build and buy is looking pretty good. We then have some arches here, which makes sense. You know, you're getting married, you might want to have something surrounding you. Uh, the shindig's over, what? <laughs> get the lights. The, this is actually really cute with the rainbow. I feel like a lot of you guys might like that. I um, love the pink. And we have this one. I am looking forward to reading some of these descriptions because they're very punny. Then we have all set in stone, quite special. And then this one, glimpse into the future. So this one's more like a geometric style of awning, like very modern. And with the candles, very pretty. Then of course we have the petals truck. Um, I actually thought these were wedding food trucks when I first saw them. That would have been a, a cool idea. I do like that. But then again, you can just add the food trucks to your lot anyway. Like if you have city living, you can probably add them or other packs that have them. If you happen to have those packs, beautiful flowers. The flowers are so pretty. Look at this. I was so excited to see this flower item. Like if you want to have a really like big, you know, wedding to show off the floral arrangements. Look at this. How good would it be if you could make this floral arrangement if you have seasons at the, the florist table? Then we've got some, you know, flowers that you might see down the aisle. Uh, marigold garlands, which is very important as well for some cultures. I'm sure a lot of you guys are pleased to see that. Uh, we also have some effortless curtains here in different hues. I mean, I know I'm going to be using these in residential lots too. And then there's also the shorter versions as well. So I'm hoping these will fit over a lot of windows, which currently I don't have curtains to match. This is nice as well. This is just like wedding signage or where do I sit at the table signage. Um, I do think it's quite clever how in one item they've been able to allow it to suit different wedding cultures. A nice fountain here. And this fountain is great because the Sims can actually sit on it, I believe. At least the one in the town square you can. Now, these are the wedding aisles. So you'll actually 
place these aisles uh, to like show where your sims need to route or to show where your sims need to walk. And then there's also the petal lined ones as well um, that do come in different swatches too. You got a really long one and then you got follow the flowy road rug type of thing. Um, and then, whoa, holy moly. <laughs> so yeah, your sims might be walking for a while. The signs of love. Okay, so this is like a wall, you know, decor. A room divider, this is nice. Oh, that's pretty. Oh gosh, I love these. I'm amazed this can look Max's match too, but it does. Oh my gosh, I saw this, I love this. James is hammering up the painting again. These are so stunning. Um, and then these are gonna be so handy, you guys. So these are just like bunting banners and I'm so stoked that they included just some plain white ones because I feel like we can use those in so many different scenarios even when it's not wedding related. Um, especially if you don't have the packs that already have these in them, like the toddler stuff pack I think had something like that with lights on them. It's nice Love to have it in this pack. And then these are really cool. These are wedding tents. I love these. I feel like we can get so creative with them as well with builds. Um, and they are so pretty. And there's this one as well with the wedding. Oh, not the, I shouldn't say the wedding lights, but the fairy lights and the roses. Yeah, I like the gothic wedding, which is really cool. Um, and then this awning as well, which is obviously gonna be handy for other things. And uh, then we have stakes to the heart. So are these little lights or... No, these are decorative stakes. Um, so these could be going up the aisle. We've got little stars, tulips. That's actually really cute. Uh, centerpiece for your tables. Decorate them all. Uh, another candle composition. We've got like a lantern here. So these are, these are really nice. Love this. I find myself sizing up existing lights in the game to kind of look like this. So I'm really excited. And then this lantern as well, which is really cool. So cool. Um, and I've already showed you that. And then of course we have these more church themed candles. But again, these are going to be very versatile in lots of different builds. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the build and buy, I think. So if you actually made it through this whole video, I'm very impressed. Let me know if you do like the longer video review, because we could do this for future packs. I'm really, really looking forward to actually bringing you guys some gameplay. Let me know if you want a bit of silly gameplay while it's still glitchy. Um, and if you have any LP ideas. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, supporting the channel, commenting, and all of your love. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to y'all soon. Dag, dag.